hear everything that my neighbors are doing. My old apartment, I could hear the people above me having sex and the people below me trying to kill each other. And I thought it was the same people until I realized that I called the cops on my upstairs neighbor and then they went up there and they had a little like, what are you doing here? Why are you over here bothering us? And they came down and like, it's people below you. I hate really deep pantries because I'm really neurotic and I like to see everything in my pantry, but then I think like, oh my god, I have like two more feet of wasted space and I'm not using it at the same time. I love, I love really fancy kitchens. Uh, I, everything else in my life is kind of like college style, but I really just want a kitchen as if I have been like a chef for 30 years. Because it just feels cleaner and nicer, and I feel like I can do it, you know? If I'm given a nice kitchen, I feel like I could be that next great I love chef. when girls like come to your house and you're excited about meeting somebody and they're like, Oh, did you just graduate from college? It's like, oh, I feel like that was an insult, you know? I had an education, I uh, thought you would be proud of that. Uh, no, I didn't. I just still have old posters that happen to be. I love using paper towels. I know they're really wasteful and I should not use them at all, but there's something about like using the towel to mop up a spill and then there's laundry and like do I hang it back on the thing and then it's kind of dirty. But like a paper towel is just so satisfying and you can just I loved, I loved this job I had uh, when I was a teenager at a movie theater because it was so easy uh, because there was only two screens and so people would come in and then I'd hang out for an hour and a half. And then uh, people would leave, and I'd say goodbye, and that was my whole job. And they gave me eleven dollars an hour to do that shit. <laughs> and uh, they excessively used paper towels. <laughs> they. <laughs> oh man, it's like infinite. Yeah. Don't be nervous. <laughs> <laughs> So supportive. Yeah. That's why I love it, man. Thanks, man. <sighs> okay. Uh, Pick what you want. Pick what you want. Pick what you want to eat today. <sighs> <laughs> I just, I feel like this is the beginning of the day. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Mm -hmm. And I'm a firm believer that right. if I make right, I'm going to support you through this. <laughs> right? Hey Craig? Yeah. Hey man, so this is getting a little too encouraging. <laughs> yeah, you know, hey, you're a great roommate, you know, and I love that that we're able to live together and hug like every ten seconds. <laughs> you feel good now? I do, good. I do. Good. Uh, you know, once again, I do have a loving girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, you have met. I love Chelsea. She's great. Chelsea's a sweet girl. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I gotta tell you, us deciding what I'm gonna eat for breakfast in the morning is great. And you know, when you help me pick out this towel I'm gonna dry off with is also. <laughs> when I go to work, I'm like, you know, people are like, man, my roommate left dishes in the sink. I'm like, mine pulled out a zesty, fresh, downy pillow towel. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Great, so we have no problem. Maybe I'll just get a cup of coffee. I'm actually not that hungry this morning. Coffee, yeah. I got you coffee, yeah. Oh, okay. I actually got a bunch of different options from Starbucks. Oh my god. <laughs> You're very thorough. Well, you haven't drank coffee yet. You said you were a tea guy, but I figured it was going to happen. So every morning I've been going to Starbucks and I've uh, been picking up this coffee flavors. <laughs> because you have a big day at work. I do. There's the hug. There's the hug. As long as you're here, you're my number one job, you know? You know I, you're right. I don't digest caffeine well. I was like living in the moment, and I thought, oh, let's go on a whimsy and have some caffeine. This is a terrible idea. I can't. Absolutely. Absolutely. They're out the window, you know? <laughs> and bath show and like all the kitchens are supposed to be great but this kitchen, kitchen. <laughs> you believe it no it is so fancy i don't even want to go in the booth mm -mm, mm -mm. i feel like you should stay in the corridor it's so beautiful thank you you read my mind oh my god i'm so glad we're on the same page oh, thank you some people say oh. hey Hey, you gotta go into the show. No, no. That's, I feel so anxious to go in the booth with such a beautiful kitchen. Thank you. Oh it's so gosh. beautiful. I don't oh, want to ruin it. It's so much better. Mm -hmm. so you guys, uh, I'm just uh, grand in here? Yeah. Yes, that is awesome. <laughs> beautiful. You got that tied down well. Oh. oh. <laughs> You're just so in sync 
completely in love with this kitchen. kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, I love your enthusiasm. Most people don't get that excited, but uh, I'll run down some key points for you. Uh, we actually, let me, sorry, this is my first time I've sold this unit. Um, so we've got basically uh, four by eight of granite. This is imported from Northern California. Oh, like, wow. Uh, Northern California. <laughs> Northern California. I don't even know. I've never been to Northern California. It's so exotic to us. Um, <laughs> A lot of different things here. Don't be fooled by the beveled edges there. We can do a straight cut on that. And there are options. <laughs> Here. If you take it off of the show, it'll be about $24.75, but if you get delivery, it'll be an extra $100. But we can deliver it right to your house. Oh, we don't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've been uh, having a great time with you tonight. Thanks. Oh. I don't know, me too. I was like a little nervous. Yeah, it's. And, Tinder dates are kind of weird, and I just don't know what to expect. Um, you know, yeah, I feel like I feel like it's kind of the equivalent of like meeting somebody in a bar online. You know, it's kind of like a little ah, I don't know, you know, I know this person, but you know, I but, agree, I yeah. agree. Yeah. So um, I saw in your profile it looked like you uh, you just graduated from college. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that you're okay with that. <laughs> so cool. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, you know, I'm old-fashioned. I believe in a good education. Is that is that weird for you? Like, no, no. I just feel like we should be straightforward and so many people are getting insulted by like, you just graduated college. Oh. You know? Yeah, no. Why? Do you, are you trying to insult me with that comment? <laughs> no. Okay. I'm having a really good time so far. Me too. Me yeah. too. I uh, could use a drink. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I am sorry. I've been really I know I kept you waiting. No, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, we got to know each other. We did. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> Can I get you guys something besides water? <laughs> uh, I'll have a Long Island iced tea. <laughs> <laughs> An educated drink. That is good. <laughs> I love the same. I love. I, I might not be qualified, but I think. <laughs> <laughs> two, two Long Island iced teas. Sure. Great. I'll be right back. <laughs> wow, I thought you were gonna order something. So let me just get this straight. <laughs> You're turned on by the fact that I'm a recent college grad. I love it. I love it. Okay. I feel like it's so like, ooh, can we do this? <laughs> bachelor's degree like you have. <laughs> well, I didn't technically graduate. Uh, funny story about that. What? Yeah. I don't know. I'm sorry. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, drinks are here. Drinks. Drinks are here. Yeah. Did you figure out how to make a Long Island IC? Because apparently that's just a GED drink, I guess. <laughs> what's going on here, but I do think he figured out how to make them. <laughs> well, cheers. <laughs> cheers to you, too. Why are you a part of this? 